Weaponize is a word now often used to describe sensitive matters being publicly amplified in party political battles. In the Me Too era, in the lead up to the last election, the Labor Party weaponized gender issues. I was raped inside Parliament House by a colleague and for so long it felt like the people around me only cared because of where it happened and what it might mean for them. The Brittany Higgins story first came to us through the media in early 2021. This is what we know. Higgins claims fellow Liberal staffer Bruce Lerman raped her inside Linda Reynolds' Parliament House office in March 2019. Lerman denies the claim. Higgins laid a police complaint. Lerman was charged and the subsequent court case ended in chaos and the charge against Lerman was dropped. We'll most likely never know what really happened late on that Friday night, but the fallout is far-reaching. I said this from day one in the, in the Parliament. She never actually said to me that she was raped. Not once, ever. Higgins maintains she did tell Reynolds about the alleged rape. All walked together. And within days of her going public with the allegations, Labor was sheeting at home to the then Defence Minister. Senator Keneally. Thank you, Mr President. My question is to the Minister for Defence, Senator Reynolds. Leading the attack, the so-called mean girls, Labor senators, Christina Keneally. Does the minister accept that Ms Higgins felt pressured not to proceed with her complaint to the police? Katie Gallagher. Just for your information, I don't think you should Senator hide Gallagher, behind Ms Higgins by refusing point. to answer it, these not... questions. And Penny Wong. Why has this minister so failed to meet her own standard? Why is she continuing the cover-up? Every good political hit job needs a villain. And the truth just did not matter. You were given a warning that this hit job was coming. I was. By a wonderful woman. By a, an amazing woman. That woman was Labor Senator Kimberly Kitching. She said, I'm so sorry, Linda, but I've got to tell you that Labor's about to rain hell on you in relation to the incident in your office a couple of years ago. She did the right thing. She did the kind thing. I knew Kimberly. She's a wonderful woman. Was she being disloyal to her party when she did that? I think she was following her conscience. The minister representing the Minister for Home Affairs, Senator Reynolds. Labor's relentless pursuit of Linda Reynolds took its toll. If I could ask Mr President, if I could have indulgence to answer this on Monday. Um, I think I'd be in a better position to answer this on Monday. Um, I will... No, if you can just give me a minute. Or well, can I take it on notice? Yep. Thank you. The whole world saw what it did to me. There is no worse thing that you can allege for any woman that she has covered up the rape of another woman. And that's what they did day after day. And they knew it wasn't true. Senator Wong, if you want, I really don't think we should be doing this here, but if you want me to do that... Yes, yes. I think... Is I, I was told by one of your senators two weeks before um, about what you were intending to do uh, with <laughs> the story in my office, two weeks before. Oh, I had no knowledge of this. Until no one point. had any knowledge. OK. I had no we knowledge were of this. How dare knowledge. you? Order. Now we will it's move... It's all about we protecting yourself. We may suspend... Senator Gallagher has since admitted she did have foreknowledge of some of the Brittany Higgins allegations. I was provided with information in the days before the allegations were first reported and I did nothing with that information, absolutely nothing. But she denies misleading Parliament over her knowledge of the rape claim. With Senator Wong, Gallagher maintains their questioning of Linda Reynolds was justified. And they kept going and then you could see the penny dropped with Penny and with Katie and we took the discussion outside. The penny dropped, they realised that Kimberly Kitching had warned you? Well, they realised what I was talking about, yep. Some of Kimberly's friends believe all of the stress and strain of this contributed to her death. 
Is that what you think? Yes. In March 2022, Kimberly Kitching died suddenly of a heart attack. Her brief time in Parliament shrouded now by claims of bullying at the hands of colleagues. There's a lot I could say about the unpleasantness of a cantankerous cabal. Not all of them in Parliament that was aimed at Kimber. Did you go to Kimberley's funeral? No. Have you spoken to her husband? No, I haven't. Do you um, have any regrets about any of that? Of course. I regret raising the issue, but it was self-preservation because you saw what they were doing to me and I gave them an opportunity to stop. But I had to preserve myself. Look, this thing continues to, to drag on. Um, but you were attacked at the time. Linda Reynolds well, of course I was. accused of covering up yeah. a rape inside, an alleged rape inside Parliament House. Well, weaponisation of these types of things is quite despicable. It really is. Because also, the words that are swirling around in your head as a Liberal Party staffer at that point in time was, the Liberal Party's got a women problem. Yeah. And you were mm. about to, you be know, those problems. be the cherry on the top of the women problem cake. Yeah. yeah. There was no issue that wouldn't be used. Well, we know from the tapes that they were out to get you with these allegations. We're up against not just the Labor Party. There were many more. Three months out from the 2022 election, Scott Morrison stood in Parliament and apologised to Brittany Higgins. I'm sorry to Ms Higgins for the terrible things that took place here. And the place that should have been a place of safety and contribution turned out to be a nightmare. Did you see that as a slight against you? I was devastated. Did you not know he was going to make that apology? Tell us no. how it unfolded for you. No, I, I didn't know he was going to do that. But again, the real damage was inflicted by Labor and the Me Too movement. And it was calculated, it was deliberate, and it was cruel. Are you aware of how much that upset Linda Reynolds? Uh, Yes, and we had a discussion about that, and I apologise for that to Linda. It didn't assume that there had been a rape? No, it did not, and still does not. I have no idea what happened that night. But you know what happened in the politics of this issue? Yes, I do, and I think that's becoming increasingly clear. Increasingly clear. There were other forces at work who seriously wanted to use this as a weapon because they weren't making any inroads on the government at that stage. So they needed something to hang on to, and this became the thing, and it was tremendously successful. I mean, it, it completely and utterly derailed the Morrison government. 